Hey everybody, Paul here. Welcome to the amp department. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. In our amp department, we have CAD. CAD is our custom amp design, so if you want something very specific to your needs, we'll build it. And there are several amp models in there. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, we also have our core, the kind of staple amps we build in this area, and our SE amps. And I'm going to go through all three of those this morning, but we're going to go for a little walk around and talk about it. So let's start with CAD. Let's start with our custom amp design. So let's go for a walk. So in CAD, we have figured out a way to get amps in pretty much any color you want, just like the guitars. So you can get any of these boxes in this wild looking thing. Um, any of these boxes or any other color combinations that you could think of, and we'll build you the amp that way. So, here. And these are amp panels that are done, ready to go in several colors, and people are very specific. I gotta have the yellow, I gotta have the yellow tiger, I gotta have uh, a gold faceplate. Can I get one with the blue? Can I get one with the green? How about a green covering and this? How about paisley and, and tiger, which looks really cool? So you got to imagine when you're ordering a custom amp design amp, a CAD amp, you can get it in any box you want. And to that end, somebody ordered a Sweet 16 Plus, which is a 40 watt amp with the, uh, the black and, and white the face plate, uh, the charcoal face plate. And I think it's gorgeous. Here's another one here. So to give you some examples of these amplifiers, we put some up here. This is where it started. This is our 25th anniversary. And uh, this amp has been ordered in kind of a uh, interesting looking box, actually beautiful. This is uh, kind of a repro of an old Plexi um, rotary switch on the output of it. So you get different wattages, uh, your standard tone controls, and two channels tied together. This is the amp that David Grissom is presently using. A wonderful amp. It's called the 25th anniversary. We, we get a few orders for them now. It was something we ran for a while. This is my amp. This is a custom MDT-50. Um, there's a switch at the beginning of it that you have an ultra high cut or normal bright. There's a volume control, presence, treble, middle, bass, and a master. This is my baby. I love it. This is our recording amp. This is one of our CAD amps, a recording amp. Um, we released these at Open House a few years ago. Basically, we gave you switches on the internal tones of the amplifiers, whether or not there was a cathode cap on the first two channels, uh, a bright adder around the resistor going into the next stage, a cathode cap on the uh, cathode follower, um, if you wanted to take a little bit of high cut so it would sound a little sweeter or change the feedback resistor inside the amp. With amplifiers, there's a set tone that the amp has, and then you have tone controls. What was really nice on this amp is you could get to some of those internal set tones and still have your tone controls. That was a recording amp. So that's kind of the deal with CAD. Um, we have several speaker cabinets. We have 212 cabinets here. I'll show you in this room. This is our test room. There's a 412 cabinet in here. There's our 212 pine cabinet down here. Um, these are the cabinets that we check all the amps through. Um, very often, uh, you know, we'll listen to the amp through the 412, then we'll listen to it through the 212, or we'll listen to it through a 212 deep, and we'll be plugging different cabinets in just to make sure that the amp sounds beautiful through all the different stuff, right? I'm very proud of the SAMP department. I think they have done a remarkable job. And um, I'll, I'll, you know what I'm going to do? I'll demo a couple amps for you. Here, here we go. So here is an HXDA with a charcoal front right out of the box. We just pulled it out of the box. I have not personally checked this amp. You're going to hear it work for the first time right out of the box as it 
would be in a music store. It says PRS HXDA amplifier on the back. Basically, it's set up so you can get kind of a Dwayne Allman tone in the DA position and a Hendrix tone in the Hendrix position. The ch these switches, once again, change the internal parts. This one changes the cathode cap on the first stage. This one adds a cathode cap on the cathode follower, and this one changes the feedback resistor, which was the change between some of the early plexis and the small box uh, super leads. So you can get to those internal parts in the amp, all right? All right, so there's a mirror here we test everything with because it's kind of in the middle between modern guitar and a vintage guitar, it's kind of right in the middle. I'm going to um, dime the master for a minute and put it all in the uh, DA position. Now, the thing that's interesting about that old almond tone was if I t turn up the HXDA input, which is, at that point they weren't double jack and amplifiers, so these are internally, these are internally bridged, but I'm only using the Based, uh, the treble channel. There's a real depth to the tone, right? And one of the things that we do when we um, test the amps is that not only we'll try it with the master turned down, I'll take the amp and I'll dime it when I'm testing it and I'll go out here and if you look there's a mark on the floor for where the door has to be every single time so that we know that we got the same amount of sound coming out of the room. And I'll sit out here So then I'll go back in, put it in the HX position. Same exact settings, I've just changed those internal parts in the amp, right? So now it's going to be gainier and have a little less bass. The other thing we can do, let's go back in here, is we can take the gain, oh Mark watch your feet here, take the gain and we'll turn it way way down in the HX position and it should clean up really well. into the store, pull it out of the box, and it sounds like that right out of the box. It's just wonderful. Now, if I go back, oh, I drop my pick, there you go, and I put it in the HX, I mean the DA position, it should be the same kind of clean tone, but warmer. Let's go back and switch it back to the HX position so you can hear the difference. and the ant makes a big difference. <laughs> I gotta tell you, that makes me smile because there's nothing when I'm in the recording studio that I ask this amp to do it doesn't give to me. I can get warm, clean tones out of it. I can get bright, clean tones out of it. I can get semi-distorted tones. I can get a lot of uh, 
uh, rhythm tones with a little bit of hair on them. I can get big lead tones. Whatever I ask it to do, it does. And that's what you should expect from an amp, from a CAD amp or any of our amps when they pull them out of a box. So there you go, there's the HX DA. Now I'm going to switch real quick to um, my amp. Maybe you can hear what the difference on an MDT is, okay? Right? Yep. So, this is my baby. Uh, it's the amp I'm presently using. It's a custom MDT-50. Um, I'm going to set it almost exactly the way I use it when I play. So it's about, about like that is what I've been doing. The master is almost all the way up, bass on about a third, middle on two thirds, treble on a third, presence on about a third, the bright, normal, ultra high cut in the middle. And you know something, just for fun, because we're doing this video, I'm going to just dime it. We'll go outside and hear what, the, hear what it sounds like right now. It's kind of in the middle between the DA position and the HX position on the other amp, right? But the thing I like about it is... That would be the bass pickup and the treble pick. clean it up and see if it cleans up nice. So I'm going to put it say down below a quarter, turn the bright switch on. Should clean up really nice, right? Um. Too bassy, not mid or too mid rangey, not too trebly. It's it's just a really round, kind of got everything kind of amplifier. And once again, there's nothing I can ask it. I ask there's nothing I ask it to do. It won't do. If I want it to be a lot brighter, I can turn the bright switch off and add a lot of high end to it and turn the bass down and add a bunch of presence. <laughs> Which is even brighter. And there it is feeding back clean. Which, I mean, that, you, you can't really ask for any more than that. So these are the MDTs. This is another CAD amplifier. Um, there's also an amp that we make in CAD called a Blister 10. And we haven't made a lot of these things, but maybe I should demo that thing real quick too. So, Mark, let me just change amps real quick, okay? Ready? <laughs> do, not, do not break and wrap and do not streak. It's pretty funny. They have a very, very good sense of humor here in the amp department. This is a blister tone. <laughs> and not that this is supposed to be a sense of humor. This is actually a serious, bu this is serious business. An amplifier at its highest level is a modulated power supply. Everybody knows you take an old Marshall and recap it and without changing the caps in the circuit but the ones in the power supply, it sounds different. So you're taking this DC voltage, AC voltage out of the wall, turning it into DC and then amplifying the tone. It makes a big difference in the tone. A blister tone is built with a rock solid rail so that it's not moving at all. It's it's real solid and it's got a, uh, as the name implies, kind of a blistering sound to it. So I'm going to play it quiet here for a second and then we're going to go outside and dime it, alright? So this thing also has reverb, which is interesting for 
kind of an amp more on the metal side. There's there's a reverb in it. And um, let's see what we get here. Hear the reverb, all right? Um, whole idea of this amp is it's just a beast when you turn it up. So I'm gonna turn. I want diamond. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna crank it all the way up. Once again, let's get the door on the switch. It's just a wonderful sounding modern amplifier. And most of the changes in a blister tone are from getting the rail, the power supply rail to be rock solid so that when you hit a note it doesn't go down in voltage at all. There's no, there's no give. It just doesn't move. And you can hear it. It's like you're playing through a 200 watt amp where you don't have a master all the way up there. It's just rock solid. And I like it. I think it sounds great. So that's a blister tone, and I think, I don't know, we've made, I don't know, probably 25 of them here in CAD. It's not advertised, it's not well known, but if you're looking for something that's got a modern tone in CAD, we make it, and it's a blister tone. It's the real deal. I really like this amp. Once again, you could put it in any of those cabinets I showed you in the beginning of the video, right? It doesn't have to be in what we call stealth all black. So, there you go. Uh, I could go through and demonstrate all the other amps, but I think you get a general idea. A Sweet 16 Plus sounds just that way. Um, HXDA I showed you, the MDT I showed you, Blister Tone. Um, we've got Dallas's, which is probably the best amp we make for pedals. A Super Dallas uh, is a Dallas with a little bit more gain, um, but if you're using a pedal board, you might want to check out a Dallas. We also make 410 cabinets, which are wonderful in CAD. There's a whole variety of things we do. By the day, more and more artists are using these amplifiers. Um, the main endorsers for our amps in general are Derek Trucks, Warren Haynes, and David Grissom, and Dave Weiner from Steve Weiss band and a bunch of other guys are starting to use these things and it's been a joy to watch this whole amp thing mature in a, in a really good way. So there you go, that's the general idea of CAD. You want something special, you can order from a CAD dealer. Um, any of these amps can come in any of those cabinets. It's just getting fun. Alright, so I'm going to also do two more videos. I'm going to do one on our core amplifiers and one on the SE amps, but that's not for today. And thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.